Hi, Lee Phillips here. I'm an attorney. I've been practicing for almost 40 years and someday I might get good at it and stop practicing. But what I want to talk about right now with you is how to register an LLC or a corporation. The process is basically the same and your LLC, your corporation has to be registered with the state. And we have YouTube videos on where to register your LLC, which state to form your LLC in. But uh, the actual registration process, you're going to go to the state. I believe each state now, since California came online, each state has the ability to let you register your corporation or your LLC online at the state website. In fact, in the course that I have on LLCs, which is a deep dive into LLCs, it goes, I, I have six hours plus of audio tutorial <coughs> on how to set up your LLC, uh, how to run your LLC, how to get your tax advantages out of your LLC, how to make sure you've got the asset protection and all that sort of stuff. That's all in a, in a do-it-yourself kit that I have called the LLC Wizard. And in the LLC Wizard, you can, uh, you can look up each state. All the information is there in print for each state. Where you go, what the website is, what information, all of that sort of stuff is contained in the chapter of registering or forming an LLC. And like I say, it's going to be in the state specific. Now you can register it in more than one state if you want. In fact, we have a YouTube on registering in different states as a foreign entity. But you're going to take your LLC, you're going to need the name, you're going to need who the manager is, the address of the, the place. You need a physical address in the state. If you don't have one, then you can hire a gun to be your registered agent, they call it. And so you're simply going to go to the state website, put the information in on the LLC wizard. I go through the questions they ask and I answer them for you. This is what they're looking for here. So you know how to fill it out. And once you hit send, so to speak, and pay your state fees, you are now registered in that state. Uh, you can't have a a name that would conflict with another name in the state for your LLC or your corporation. In fact, we have a YouTube video on naming a corporation, naming an LLC. So you've got that and you've got, uh, got, got to comply with all the state things. But once you've met what the state requires, you've given them your credit card, you've paid the fees, then you're home free you are now registered as an LLC or as a corporation or as a limited partnership in that state. That doesn't mean that you get the tax advantages. It doesn't mean that you get the asset protection. There are a lot of other things you've got to do besides just register in the state in order to get the asset protection, the tax advantages, and use the LLC, the corporation, to do what it's supposed to do for you. These are neat tools. One of the first steps is registering them with the state. Speaking of registration, don't forget to subscribe and we will continue to send out more and more of these YouTube videos and keep you up to date on new changing laws. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of new laws coming up in the new administration. We're going to have to discuss those. We're going to do lots of things, so don't forget to register and then you'll get a little notification when we put out a new YouTube video. This is Lee Phillips talking about registering your LLC or corporation.